Hello, my name's Sarah Riches and I'm a senior course tutor and senior audiologist here at the Audiology Academy. So there's three reasons why you might build up with wax. So the first reason is that as you get older, your skin naturally becomes drier all over your body and that includes down your ear canal. So as your ear is trying to naturally um, dispel the wax and remove the wax, unfortunately it gets itself a bit stuck. Um, the second reason is that nobody's got a beautifully straight ear canal. Most ear canals have twists and turns, um, up and down like a roller coaster, side to side like a snake, and also in and out where there's narrower parts as well. So therefore the wax does sometimes get stuck, especially if you've got any hair in there as well. And the third reason is that we are always putting things in our ears nowadays, so we might be wearing things for our occupation or during our leisure time, which means that the wax isn't getting an opportunity to work its way out. A build-up of earwax doesn't actually indicate poor ear hygiene. All it means is that somehow or other the wax has managed to get itself stuck or you've overproduced the wax. Ear wax may on some occasions cause permanent hearing loss. It depends on how much wax is there, how long it's been there and what complications it might be causing either around it in the ear canal walls or behind it with the ear structures there. The way that you should really clean your own ears is to avoid putting anything actually into them. So all you need to do really is as you're washing your hair in the shower or in the bath, obviously water will naturally go near your ears. And when you are drying your ears out, if you can just put your finger inside a towel or a flannel and just gently wipe around the edges, then that should help any wax that was on its way out to come out completely. Earwax can come in all sorts of different colours, different consistencies and different textures. We do find with regards to the colour that it may sometimes be related to the race of the patient. So for example, Europeans um, and Americans may have sort of darker, thicker, more sticky wax. Uh, we find sometimes Africans have um, more yellow, honey-like wax and um, our Asian population tend to have sort of drier and paler wax. Earwax colour may sometimes indicate some potential underlying health conditions, such as if we find very pale wax, that may be an indication that somebody has very high cholesterol. So it's difficult to actually prevent the build-up of excess wax, but what we can do is to try and keep on top of it and monitor it. So what we do advise usually is that you go and see your ear care professional for a check at least every six months if you're somebody who knows that they build up regularly and also to maintain their clear ears once they've been professionally cleaned by using olive oil on a fairly regular basis so that that would usually be something like ear roll olive oil spray or if you've got sensitive skin the almond ear spray um, and that just helps to keep everything moisturised and helps to keep the wax that you are producing moving. If you went to see an optician, they would assess your eyes to see whether you had 20-20 vision. When you come and see an audiologist, we do something fairly similar, but we're checking to see whether you can hear sounds within the normal range of hearing, which is between 20 decibels and minus 10 decibels. Um, so we test across a range of different frequencies or pitches and at various different volumes to see how well you're hearing speech and other everyday normal sounds. Unfortunately, with earwax buildup, it doesn't only cause problems with hearing loss, it can also cause other complications. And our patients often come to us to say that they are hearing um, tinnitus, which is ringing, whistling, buzzing, hissing sounds in their ears, which they haven't previously experienced, or they're feeling some discomfort because of the presence of the wax, or they're feeling slightly um, unsteady, slightly disorientated, even dizzy sometimes. Um, so it's not just that they won't be hearing very well, it's causing other symptoms which might be actually making them feel unwell. Sometimes it can be really difficult to know whether you do have a build-up of wax and you may suspect that you have and you might be worried about it. So what we recommend is that you go and see an ear care specialist who will have a look down your ears and confirm the presence or absence of the wax. And we would recommend that you do this every six months if you are somebody who does tend to build up with wax on a regular basis. Generally, if you want to try and keep on top of your ear wax and you want to try and clear your ears yourself, 
you should be thinking about doing that um, or at least drying around the outside of your ears every time you've had a, a bath or a shower um, but not with a cotton bud so just pop your finger inside your flannel and just gently wipe around the edges and that should get rid of any excess wax and then after that if you want to use olive oil spray such as ear roll about once every month or once every three to four weeks that should do the trick we should definitely try and avoid a build-up of earwax in our ears because it is going to have an impact on how well we hear the world, how well we're communicating with our friends and family, how well we may be getting on at school or at work. So we need to make sure that these blockages aren't occurring. So you do need to keep on top of your earwax and make sure that you're not building up regularly. Our ears are often overlooked and we can't see inside our own ears. So we're not always sure of the health of them. So we do need to get our ears checked on a regular basis and just maintaining our ears with olive oil spray is a useful activity to help us to stop building up with too much earwax.